temptation can be everywhere with all the pressure surrounding that star. Is it an added challenge trying to treat a celebrity, trying to keep a celebrity clean? Absolutely, it's an added challenge. If you are a celebrity and you have addiction, you're often surrounded by people who uh, tell you what you want to hear, keep you from seeing the truth. In situations like that, people can sometimes be a lot sicker before they get help. Psychiatrist Dr. Omar Menendwala is the medical director of the prestigious Hazelden Foundation, an addiction recovery center in Minnesota. He's one of the nation's leading experts on addiction and mental health. Because right now, uh, today, defeat is not enough. Dr. Menendwala has not treated Sheen as a patient, but because of his expertise, 2020 asked him to watch our full interview for comment. Because I, I, I expose people to magic, I expose them to something they're never otherwise going to see in their boring, normal lives. And Sheen I... rejects the public dissection of his indiscretions. What's worse in his eyes? Medical experts weighing in. Bring me Dr. Clown Shoes. I mean, who, is, who are these people? What right do they have to sit in judgment? You know, these talking heads. I mean, it's, it's not their fault entirely because they've been given a platform. Boom, they believe it. You know, it's... He doesn't like doctors like you. Yeah. He doesn't like people judging him who don't know him. So he would say, what gives you the right to judge me and diagnose me? He's got a point because the reality is, is no one should make a diagnosis by watching him on video. But the other thing to say is that uh, for people who have addiction, uh, there's, there can be a real profound sense of distrust of the medical community. We shouldn't expect someone who is suffering from addiction to understand, respect, and trust the medical profession. In fact, the opposite. It's our responsibility in the medical profession to reach out and try to heal those, those bonds. A lot of people speculating out there about what could be wrong with Charlie Sheen. One of the theories is that he's bipolar. I asked him about that, so let's, let's take a look at that. Some are saying that you're bipolar. Wow. And then what? What's the cure? Medicine? Make me like them? Not gonna happen. I'm by winning. I win here and I win there. Now what? If I'm bipolar, aren't there moments where a guy like crashes and is like in the corner like, oh my god, it's all my mom's fault? Shut up. Shut up. Stop. Move forward. What were some of the signs you saw that perhaps were indicative of someone who may have a bipolar disorder? Bipolar disorder is a chronic mood disorder where people have highs and lows. It can be characterized by a decreased need for sleep, a lot of agitation or energy, arrogance, a sense of having special powers. So part of the problem is that those symptoms can be also caused by drug intoxication or even drug withdrawal. What does Charlie Sheen need to do right now, in your opinion? The most important thing to do would be to get an evaluation by a professional. It's important to emphasize that recovery isn't just not using drugs. And so when people suffer from addiction, it's not just the addict who suffers, but everybody is drawn into a chaotic web. Sheen has accepted professional recovery help before. In 1998, he was treated at Promises Rehab Facility in Malibu, California. Shortly after his release, Sheen sat down with Charlie Gibson and championed his newly embraced lessons from recovery. They just teach you about taking the power back. That there is a better way. You don't have to live like you did anymore. How long did it take you to get past the idea that this is a line and really accept the fact that this philosophy could help? About the third month there, I started making sense. I started seeing the progress in others around me and I started seeing, feeling the progress in myself. But the Sheen I met, the Sheen of today, says recovery is in his own hands. Advice to other addicts. I don't know. You fix yourself. Close your eyes. Change your brain. Quit believing, you know, all this ancient, plagiarized nonsense. The Charlie we saw in the 2020 interview in 1999 admitted he had an addiction. The Charlie we're seeing now says it's all about choices. Is this a very dangerous evolution? Yes. Whenever someone with addiction uh, believes that they can control their behavior, believes that they're able to manage on their own without help, that can be very scary and very dangerous. The, the reality is that when people have addiction, it's critical to get help, and treatment works. Back to training for his next movie role? Yeah, oh, we're doing Major League 3, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's going to train. Yeah, I don't have to be in that shape for two and a half men. 